Hi everyone, welcome to Knit and Crochet with Linda and June. I'm Linda. I'm June. I am a knitter, a crocheter and a pattern designer and you can knit, crochet and a seamstress. And you can find us on Facebook, we've got our own Facebook group, um, we're on Instagram as Disley Sisters Creations and we've each got our own Instagram and Facebook as well yep. and obviously YouTube. So welcome in, this is um, episode 5 and it's called The Chicken and the Imkin. So we've had a lot of laughs <laughs> with this blinking chicken as yes. you can see the first chicken, Georgia, is behind us. Say hello Georgia. Cluck, cluck, cluck. <laughs> so we haven't got as many so today's video is going to be a short one because yeah. unfortunately I can't sit for very long because I've got sciatica and uh, it's very very painful so um, we're just going to run through our finished projects and our works in progress we um, met a couple of lovely ladies from Canada and also our trip to Turkey yes so do you want to how many finished objects have you got June three I've got five so shall I go first oh you greedy thing yes go on go on so if you remember June made a shawl with um style crafts boutique purple mist and she gave me what was left over so i have made a pair of fingerless gloves let me just put it on so you can oh hold on wrong way that was a good start to the show <laughs> i'm putting it on the wrong way so nice i did it so there we go so i'm um, i've made a pair i even got the the yarn to match what was left and there's only a little bit left so yeah so it's DK and yeah so it looks fine and um, this is a tutorial for by Anya from Ophelia Talks and I will put the link below so they're my finished my first finished project for April April what do you make can you believe what do you make guys we're only going on holiday in a couple of weeks oh, well can't. less than two weeks can't wait so there's that one and um shall i show another one because yes. i've got five okay and the next one i've finished at long last is my pampas tea i did do a short this pattern is by samantha gurin uh, it's been washed and blocked i've worn it and um, I added extra ribbon on the length and I added a few extra rows on the sleeve as well. Um, the yarn is by Katie who is the Yarn Whisperer and uh, at the end of this video there I'll do a little slideshow and I've got photographs of me wearing this and June's going to... Um, model the gloves for me so i can take a photograph so that's um finished project number two do you want to share next no i've only got three little ones well go on you show one and then i'll show another one okay but i haven't brought the patterns to them oh it doesn't matter the baby baby yeah. stuff yeah i've got the yarn though oh yeah um, so if you remember I was talking about um, a lady that had said that she'd used the Home and Bargains Sarah Ashford yarn and I bought it in the white with the blue speckles for my friend who's having a baby. I made her, excuse the little green um, notches there where my buttons are going, I always do that when I, when I make a baby That's a good card. tip that if you just get some... I've missed, doesn't matter miss that one i just get a like a, a different color yarn and just make a note of where the button holes are so i've made her that and it's it's beautiful it's, oh, it's so, so soft yeah it is yeah. it's lovely it's absolutely beautiful and then the next one is if you remember i was making the the jumper out of the um snuggly, our snuggly baby and i had the sleeve still to add can you see the definition on the anchor? Isn't that just adorable? So I've made that for here, for him. Altogether, I think I've made 
five five cardies, a jumper and a, a blanket a blanket yeah. and i've bought her a few little bits and bobs as well yeah, that's beautiful. so she's due today is she due today yeah today <gasps> oh. i know i know oh. can't wait can't wait oh, that's so that's that's two of mine my other finished project is another pattern by samantha Girin. um is the pampas tea uh, no yeah this is the pampas tea that's the salty air tea. I hope I did say that's the salty air tea. I can't remember if I did, said that right. Anyway, so this is the, um, and I used King Cold Summer and I've washed it and blocked it and it fits lovely, doesn't it, June? Yeah, it looks beautiful. And it's like um, the colour is um, uh, I cord bind off, which I really like and um, I quite. I might do that again on another mm. another top so yeah so that's two finished teas for this month which uh, for april not may april and um what was i only used i think i used 172 grams and um to make it so june's got the pattern now with the yarn and i'm gonna make it june's gonna make it so they my two. I absolutely love Samantha Guerin's patterns. They are so easy to follow and uh, and uh, yeah, I really enjoyed them. Really enjoyed them. I'm just glad to get them off my needles ready for summer. And it's a lovely summer's day here in Warrington, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Really nice. So, um, do you want to show the other one? Yep. So my other one is, is, is it the Rowan? Yep. Yep. What, what, what one is it called? Oh, Seashell. Yeah. So if you remember, I've been making this for our Katie since last year. <laughs> it's the Rowan. It's called Seashell, is it? Yeah. Seashell. seashell. Yeah. So on the pattern, um, you did the back in two pieces. So she's modified it. Yeah, we did do the back in two pieces. So I modified it. And I've made it for her. Hasn't been blocked yet. But it's turned out absolutely I made up with it. Oh, it looks lovely. And look at the um, detail up the side. That's up the side. And then you've got this lovely pattern up the front, which is really nice. Yeah, oh, the that ribbon, feels lovely. Yeah, the ribbon goes right the way up. And this is the Mexican Ulalia, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Mexican Ulalia, 100% uh, mercerized cotton. It feels lovely and soft. Yeah, yeah. It's lovely. can't wait for her to try it on. Yeah. Oh, I said to her, you can have it, but you can't have it yet. Got to show it. Got to show it to everyone. So finally finished it, everyone. <laughs> Yay! So that is lovely. Yeah, it's beautiful. I really like that. I like the detail up yeah. the side as well. Yeah. If you can see it, that's the detail up the side. It's gorgeous. Yeah. So it's supposed to be in two pieces in the back and I just modified it myself. To just be one piece. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So what, in effect, what you did, you just re replicated the front and... Yeah. Made it and then, yeah. 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 Because it's been knitting that long and I know the back has to be. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, That's so lovely. It's beautiful, and I I finished it while we were in Wales, on our little holiday, and yeah. I FaceTimed her. I said I finished it. Look, she went, "Oh, Nan, that's beautiful." I said, "Do you like it? It's beautiful." So it is, yeah, it's lovely. So I'm going to give her that once it's done. Excellent. Yes. For so my little baby. I've got two more finished projects. So I've jumped on the bandwagon of the Impkins guys. I saw. Um, Sam from Mantha's Makes and um, Amanda Panda from a, a Obsessive Crochet Lady and also Crafty Moo Sarah, our mm. Sarah Moo, um, making these. So I know Amanda is making them with thread. Um, Samantha has made, Sam has made them with double knit and then 
series made hairs with four weight which is Aaron so I have used June gave me some um, Hobie rainbow red and grey yarn and I've made bluey I've called him bluey and um, so he is is all done and I've started the second one as well I'm, I'm a, a little bit behind but I know they've just um, picked all the pieces for the third one so and that goes for two months so hopefully by the end of so that's May June I think it is mm. May and June so I'm hoping by the end of June I'll have caught up and I'll have all three done but there we go there's Bluey with his little scarf on and his hat so yeah so I'm really pleased with him he's a little love and he's got blue eyes it's blue safety eyes but I really love him he's such a cute he's such a cute and then the last oh this is from sorry guys this is from the book by um Megan Lapp um and it's called Crochet Impkins. I will put the link below. I think you can get the book from Amazon and I'll put the link below um, for you. But I'm sure a lot of people uh, purchase this book. So, yeah. So that is finished project number four. Now, finished project number five is after all the hullabaloo that, and all the mistakes I made with this one, um, Georgia, which I made for my dad, you know support emotional support chicken for me for me dad so I, I said to June I, I was looking through and I know June loves blue and I lo found these skeins of yarn um four weight yarn in in my stash and I thought oh they'll go nice together and I still had the red and the yellow from my one so I thought I'll make June one so I've made our June one and she we what have you called her Cecilia Cecilia after my mum because mum was baptised Cecilia Maria even though she was called Sheila Mary Sheila Mary she was um her parents were Catholics and um so you know so yeah so there we are June a nice little gift for you hello and it's made correctly there's no yes because my mum made sure you made it correctly yeah no cock-ups no she FaceTimed me one day and she was like, hi, and I was like, hi, you really? And she went in. I said, what have you done? I always know when she's done something because she's... I went, what have you done? She went, look what I'm making. I went, oh my God. I just burst out laughing. <laughs> and then when she showed me the yarn, I knew it was for me. I said, you're going to make it properly this time. She went, yes. And the pattern is on Ravelry and it's by The Knitting Tree LA. Uh, Annette, Annette Corsino's um, Ravelry page. So all the links, what we've talked about. Uh, in So I'm really chuffed with that. It looks lovely, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. I actually, when making that, I realised where I'd gone wrong. Mm. I'd missed a row. And that's how come mine was mine was wrong. Yeah. And she's got green eyes because my dad, mum had mine's green. Hazel. hazel, hazel eyes. Yeah. And you've got hazel eyes as well, haven't you? Yes, I have. So my mum, my dad, June and Dawn. I don't have brown. Brown. They all had three. Uh, and I had blue. And I'm left-handed. So they'd, my dad kept saying I was I was the milkman's. Yeah. But I said to him, I said to him, we could, I couldn't have been the milkman's. He said, why? I said, because we lived in Malta and my mum had to go to the shop for the milk. So I'm not the milkman's. He just looked at me and laughed. And then it was the coal man. I said we didn't have coal in Malta. <laughs> it was too hot. Yeah. So it was just a running joke, wasn't yeah, yeah, it? He always yeah. said I was somebody else's. <laughs> yeah, not his. Yeah. <laughs> but I am. Mm. Of course. I am. So, yeah, so there we go. Two little amigurumis I've made this month. So proud of myself. Well, April. <laughs> so, um... I let you go first for your whips. What are you working on? Are you sure, Linda? I'm definitely sure? sure. I'm definitely sure. Definitely, definitely. So sure. I'm making for my little legs, which Lyra, is Lyra. I'm making the king curl, but I'm doing that short sleeve one. I started it while I was away, but I didn't like the texture of the yarn at all. So 
we went out the other day black sheep walls black sheep walls and I purchased this it's Wendy my favorite lavender it's called yeah and it's uh, 100 grams and 100 percent acrylic yeah and does it say the yardage oh it's Wendy walls as well uh, oh uh, 295 meters 322 yards and it's really nice and soft and June's made two of our higher tees in that yarn haven't you yes so I got I got this and then I walked around and then something was telling me to go back and I got a really dark dark didn't I a dark purple a dark purple for me to make a top nice. down jumper not a higher tee i'm not going to make out another higher tee i've got a couple of patterns there haven't i yeah. got for me yeah so yeah so i'm gonna wait and see mm -hmm. and decide but yeah this yeah. is for me little legs so these are all new whips aren't they yes because mine are i've got two new whips and an old whip which is i've nearly come to the end of and i've not shown this one so this is my sedar tee by Sadar and as you can see guys at last I am on the yoke so what you do with this I'll show you the pattern in a minute so what you do with this you do the back the front and the sleeves and then you join them together and then you pick up your stitches and I'm starting to do the colour work round the um, yoke and um, it is a Sadar pattern if I can get it out would be the wrong page. There we are. That's that's the pattern I'm doing. I mean, this has been on my needle since the beginning of January, so I'm hoping by the end of May it will be finished. And they're the different colourways. And I am I've not gone with them colourways. I just want to show you this bit here, so you can see how it sits. And um, I am using where is it i'm using the purple and the gray for the con for the color work i think they go really nice together with the with the lilac and this is sedar country classic which is 50 grams which is a four ply which is a finger weight and it's 50 percent wool 50 percent acrylic and uh, there's 200 meters and 218 yards so i'm on the home stretch now guys i'm actually when i finish this row knitting this row of purple i start on the gray and do the um do this this bit here so yeah so that's what i'm uh, up to on that so that is whip number one for me what's your second whip so my second whip is this kinko we really like kinko because you can get two patterns for the price of one so that was the one that was our is the main one but then when i turned it over i found that and i, I like that i quite like that I think it's, lovely. it's lovely so i am using And I'm, I'm quite surprised at how it's turning out. Quite shocked. Oh, I'm using it. Jane C. Brett. Um, Where's my pencil? Where's my pencil? Oh, have you got it? Yeah. Jane C. Brett. It's not got a colour on it. It's shade DW01. Mm -hmm. And it's Jane C. Brett Driftwood Double Knit. And as you can see, it's got browns and different shades of creams, creams and... and yeah. beige and that yeah and it's really nice it's so um, soft 290 meters 316 yards and it's anti-pilling acrylic and this is how it's turning out oh that looks oh guys that is so soft how lovely is that so it's like self-striping so made up with that that is it and it's so soft that is beautiful oh yeah and it is it's so soft yeah. isn't it and I've got another, a, di a different one, haven't I? In blues, hasn't it? It's got um, blues. Has it got blues? No, it's the beige, the white and black. Oh, right. Yeah, oh, black nice. and grey. 
beautiful so yeah i think i'll be making another one that's lovely so yeah so, so soft it is it is really the softness unbelievable and the beauty of, of vests as well is in the in the winter mm -hmm. you can wear them over your long sleeve dresses or a turtleneck very fine uh turtleneck sweater or uh, a shirt yeah um i really do like I've my got, vests i've got that much left out oh. of a hundred gram ball well it goes a long way doesn't yeah, it yeah it's gone a long way yeah. So this is me, yeah. Excellent. Hopefully be done this year. So while we were away, I've wanted to make an Aaron cardigan for ages, guys. I love cables. I really do enjoy making cables. And I was looking for a pattern, and I got this pattern off Etsy. Well, Argyle, they don't do Argyle yarn anymore. So I had to do some figuring out and working out the numbers. And I decided on Drops Charisma in the this is um 01 but this is the off-white um color way and it is 50 grams 100 meters 109 yards and it's 100 percent wool so so beautiful to knit with and um, so that is the sweater that i'm doing and this is what i've done i started this while i was away in wales and this is what I've done so far. Just hold that that needle for me. Cheers. So as you can see, it's moss stitch with cables, and it's uh, a four row pattern repeat. But guys, I had to do four inches for the rib. That took me forever. So yeah, so we're really pleased with that. Really how nice, and it's going to. I love. Especially on sweaters, I love the the double. Mm. You know the double rib. Yeah, yeah. I just hate cables. I, I, I hate knitting. When I, how neat Linda's cables are compared to how yeah. my cables turn out. Mine are dead, dead scruffy. I think mine are scruffy looking. So you do the back. Then the sides and the sleeves all separate and then you sew them all together and then do the band. And I've actually been out and bought my buttons as well if I can find the things. Are they a mitten? Oops, no, not a mitten. Oh, here they are. So I've got these buttons, to, which I think will look really nice on, on the... I think they'll look really nice. So anyway... That is my second whip. I've got a lot more whips than I'm showing you guys, but I've not worked on them. I'm trying, I'm concentrating on, to be honest, I've been concentrating on my Seed RT because I want to get that finished, hopefully before we go away on holiday. And, and that because I'm going to be teaching June how to knit socks when we go away. She's all prepared. She's got the yarn. She's got a needle. She's got a DPNs. So yeah. I've got me made me sock bag and everything, haven't I? Yep. Yeah. Should have brought so that we'll, to show, shouldn't I? Yeah, you should have done. I thought you would have done. Never mind. <laughs> but I made myself a new Disley bag and a new sock bag. Yeah. Like she made me a Disley bag and a sock bag in poppies. So your third whip is my third whip is a shawl. Still doing the shawl, everyone. Yes, and I'm using the Elise. Elise. Elise Diva. Ombre. Yep. Batique. Yep. In the green, if you remember. It's, Is it? It's on a scarf. It's, it's doing me head in because I've been crocheting it and it's all started deciding to just come out at once. See? Yeah. It's like I'm going on to the darker greens now. So, yeah, I will be glad when it's finished, but it's me. I sit in bed and do this before I go to sleep. Have a nice. It helps me sleep. <laughs> and this is just, I just watched it hooked by Robin, and she just did a, a um, an ordinary, an ordinary, um, tutorial crochet so i did i've done 10 rows of double then i've done two treble then i've done 10 double two tr two treble 10 double and then i've done four i've done four yeah four trebles and that's it now i'm not going to do any more trebles 
the rest of it is just going to be that's going to be lovely that doubles or i might do another i might do 20 doubles and then do another two rows of trebles that is lovely not pretty for somebody who's only just started to crochet shawls i think you're doing a really fabulous job june yeah thank you because you've only been crocheting like a couple of years haven't you um yeah a couple of years lockdown yeah to watch your tutorial in lockdown yeah yeah and then started so i'd like to have a go at making a um a nice patterned and, and I'm going to have a go at making a, a patterned wearable. Don't faint, everyone. Well, there are a lot of patterns on Ravelry which are size inclusive, which is, you know, will not only fit me, but will fit June as well, because June's a little bit more fluffier than I am. Yeah. Aren't you? Yeah. You're fluffy. Yeah. She's fluffy, guys. Yes, I am. I'm very, very fluffy at the minute. And my, my... um my third whip to show you which is actually a new whip oh it's beautiful it is going to i'll show you the yarn that i'm making no you see i'm going to show the yarn you use i'm not making the yarn guys i wish i could make yarn but i'm not i'm using sadar stories and it is um 60 cotton 40 percent acrylic this is called glamping and um it's a hundred 50 grams 140 meters 153 yards so that's called glamping and this is called camping parade <laughs> now you won't get me going camping guys not a, so it's the same stats and everything but i put them two colors together and i'm using um is it craft and a cuppa uh, hair tutorial i can't remember for the life of me what her name is but i did meet her last year at um the east anglia show because i made one her i made one last year in um teals and purples and i have got a photograph of me with her so i've let me just see there we go so that is and all i'm doing it's just my own pattern i'm just doing three three rows of each colour until it, it it fits but I'm really pleased with how them colours look together maybe you could have a go making one of these June yeah and, uh, honest it'd be dead easy honest yeah we'll see so yeah so that's what I am working on at the moment in my crocheting I have got my blankets which i haven't touched um with being away i've got um other things that um are kind of on the back burner because i'm just concentrating on things that i want to get finished mm -hmm. especially the said rt mm -hmm. and i've got a pair of socks that i need to get finished which i will show you next month because they're nearly finished but they're not finished yet so i'm not showing them but because i can't sit for very long because i went to the doctor I've been in agony, guys. I really have been suffering with sciatica. In, in, well, we thought it was in my back. I trapped a nerve in my back. So I went to the doctors and she did the test on, on my vertebrae on, on the back. And she said, went down all the vertebrae and said, if any of them attend to tell me. Well, she went right the way down my back. It's not in my back. I haven't got a trapped nerve in my back. What I have got, would you believe, is a trapped nerve in my buttocks yes guys in my bum so i have been in absolute ag agony haven't i I've, yeah. I've been crying with it the pain i mean i've i've given birth to two kids and this pain is worse too honest to god it's it is it's worse honest pain i've never i mean i've got a strong pain threshold yeah but the other day i was crying wasn't i i yeah. was in tears because i didn't know what to do with my leg because it travels down my leg my left leg at the top of my thigh so at the top of my thigh i feel like the muscles are pulling stretching like that and then it it, it spasm gives me a spasm then in my calf muscle so i don't know what to do with my leg <laughs> chop it off or what whatever anyway i finally got in to see the doctor which is like trying to get gold here guys and um i was really lucky because the doctor who saw me she actually suffers with um sciatica so she was 
able to give me um, some other exercises that she found worked for her and she's put me on amitriptyline which will take one to two weeks to um, control the pain so I'm dosing myself up I can only because of what I'm on medical wise because I had a stroke and that um, I can't take ibuprofen I can't take Nurofen I can only take paracetamol so if you shake me I'll rattle so um, so we've been out today haven't we June oh my god yeah anyway but that that's beside the point but we did on Sunday we're recording this on Thursday so this will be go live on on Sunday whatever date it is on Sunday so previous last Sunday we had the opportunity to meet our Anne yep aka Toby Nips from Canada she was born uh, here in the UK in Liverpool and we were able to meet her at Black Sheep Walls and we had a ball yeah what yeah. a lovely lovely yeah. lady she, we, is she was absolutely lovely so June made her a lovely bag yep as a gift and I gave her some um, some yarn and some stitch markers and then she presented us um, and actually dyes her yarn dyes her own yarn and she dyed yarn for June and I so oh sorry yeah it's all right let me change the right way yeah so she gifted us these our favorite color mine's purple and June's is blue, blue. with the Canadian maple, maple leaf, leaf. Which is absolutely, it was, absolutely, it was lovely, wasn't it? It was. It was such a lovely surprise because, yeah. we, you know, you don't expect anything, no, do you guys? No. You just no, go and meet lovely. her and, and whatever. Yeah. And then she wanted to know what our favourite colours were. So, mm -hmm. and they're called our June and our Linda. <laughs> oh, I say our, you say our. Our, uh -huh. our June. Arlinda. Arlinda. Mm. So this is. So June's has got hints of purple on, and mine has got hints of blue on. And she made us these, one of a kind. Isn't that just amazing? I'm well, just so delighted. But then she combined the two to call Disney Sisters. We were just oh, made up. We yeah. were just made up. So, guys, we've got, got yarn named, named, named after us. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, oh, Anne. Yeah. It's beautiful yarn. Yeah, it's so um, soft. Elite finger weight sock yarn, 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon, 370 yards, 100 grams. And it's called Our Linda, Our June, and this one, Disley Sisters. It's both so, our favourite colours together. Yeah. So we're just absolutely over, over the, the moon. moon. Beautiful. So watch this space around November time for Christmas because yeah. the three of us are combining to do something special for Christmas yeah. with the yarn. So Anne is going to do the yarn. June is going to do the bag. And I am going to design a hat pattern. Yep. So, yeah. So uh, we're absolutely. It was well, thank just, you so much, Anne. Oh yeah, Anne. Thank, thank you, you, thank you, thank, thank you. you. I think this should be the thumbnail, shouldn't you? Yeah. Oh, we go like that. <laughs> yeah. And Scott, I was just when she when she brought it out the bag and gave me it, and I saw the colours. I was made up because to me, lilac is me mum, and I was made up. And then when I read the back, oh June, I was like, oh, I've got your named after me now. <laughs> Fame at last, guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so thank you so yes, much, so Anne. Much, Anne. It was lovely to meet you. It was. It was. We'll have to, yeah, meet up again soon. When you're yeah. over in the UK, you'll yeah. have to let us know. Yeah. And then today, we went, met, went and met Pam. And I'll put all Pam's details yeah. below. Yeah. And she, through Anne, had contacted me for our June to make, what did we call that bag, June? It's a double bag with a drawstring. Didn't we call it the George bag? 
Yes, we did. Yeah, we called out to me, Dad. Yeah, we? with George yeah. bag. And it's a double bag with a zipper pocket between the two, uh, two sides. But then it's got a drawstring and it's got handles and everything. And she wanted one and she's left it us. She just told us the colour she liked and she left it us to, up to us, uh, to June, to design it and, and make it the yeah. same as Anne's because we made Anne one. Mm hmm and uh, we met her today um what is it lu lu luquette is it the lu i can't remember what the what was the 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 weaving the, and yeah. spinning yeah yeah the traveling we'll all... put the link in the in the description box <laughs> yeah below. but it was lovely to meet Anne. yeah we had um peppermint tea and a cake yes and we were nattering away and it was just so lovely to meet her and yeah, um it was. we've got photographs so i'll put photographs at the end of um us with our, our aunt and yeah. obviously with pam as well yeah and um yeah so it was really really nice we've it been was. very very lucky yeah. to uh pam does actually live in canada yeah and um, but she's touring around with the business luquette i think it is it's a spinning and weaving machine and and that so um mm. and that so we'll put i'll put all the links and everything down below and um last to talk about really we're not uh, gonna talk about dream knitting this month hope you no. forgive us but i can't sit for very long um we are going away on the tw hold on 21st we fly out early 21st no it's 20th we fly out was it the 20 what what dates what date is the so it's the yeah. 9th today 7th so tuesday 7th 21 yeah 21 we fly out to take early hours 21st and we're so excited yes it's going to be our first holiday together. Daily holiday, sister holiday. Yeah, just us two. Um, we've sussed out, we found out where the the, sh the yarn shops are. They're, um, we're not far from the harbour in Bodrum. So we're going to go and have a look at some yarn. And um, obviously get a bit of sun as well. Oh, definitely definitely getting the sun definitely definitely yeah. we need to get the sun yeah. guys because yeah, yeah desperately need some vitamin d yeah and um so hopefully we come back or when we come back hopefully we'll be able to do a live on the thursday thursday after we come back and we'll show you what we purchased mm -hmm. and we're super excited about that and then our next video is going to be in june showing what we've done in may yeah and uh, so we are going to i think we're going to uh, sign off here if you've got any questions or you want any information about what we've talked about and um, please check the description box below click the more button and then it'll f it'll show up there will also be time stamps for finished projects and um, works in progress and then just chit chat um i'll try and remember to do that when i um do the video edit the video mm -hmm. but um we have had a, a wonderful week we've been we're we're so, we're so so blessed guys we really yeah. are yeah. um to actually get to meet our and we were oh, so yeah, excited lovely. especially because she's from liverpool as mm. well and so three of us were sat there putting the wheels to right where we yeah yeah and then we went around and did some shopping oh yeah of course we did some yeah. shopping but yeah. today when we were at black sheep wools we didn't buy any yarn at all just baby buttons just baby buttons so yeah, yeah so we've had a really good time we hope you enjoy the rest of may yes and um we are doing a live tonight aren't we yes because we're announcing the winners for our spring shawl make along, make along. and um, so we'll be announcing the winners i'll put the uh, link to this the live video underneath if you've not watched it if you not, can't you know if you've not had time to to watch the live with us then add the link for the live announcing the winners and it will also go uh, i will also post it on to the um 
community tab as well. Yeah. I think what I'll do is I'll I'll put the winners in the community tab. Yeah. Name yeah. them. So yeah. yeah. So um mm -hmm. thanks ever so much for watching. We do appreciate your support. Welcome to all my new subscribers as well, guys. I'm well, well over seven thousand now. And don't forget the seven thousand giveaway. If you've not seen it, check it out. I'll put the link below for that. So I need to put the link for the winners mm -hmm. and the link for the 7K, yeah. um, which closes at the end of this month and the winner is announced in June. So have you got anything you would like to say? No, no. Just don't miss us while we're away. Yeah. We try. We try and do. I'll try and upload so do some shorts. Yeah, yeah. I'll try and yeah. upload a couple of shorts for you. So you yeah. don't miss us too much. But yeah. thank you, everyone. Take care, everybody. Stay safe. But more importantly, be kind to you. And we will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.